Yeah, this is a little bit better actually. I lied, so we are gonna go to the website. Um, <clears throat> Heroes of Arcasia, Allied Forces, North Kyrazan, da -da 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 -da, Tier 4 update, Arcasia is about to evolve again. Lol, love it. Evolve. I love saying my name and stuff. Um, even though it's not my name, it's a word. Let's be right. <laughs> These accelerated servers will quickly level up players. Oh, ignite servers. Whoa. To bolster the ranks of players ready to enter Tier 4, a special progression event arrives in the form of ignite servers. These accelerated servers will quickly level up players to 1620 and give them tools to enter the fray. That's... This is going to be manipulated by old players like it was last time, unfortunately, but I think it's a new paint job for jumpstart servers <laughs> by calling it Ignite Server. Uh, that was, that's been the issue this entire game is that you're taking these players, if, if they're new and not returning, but you're taking these players that have zero experience, right, in the raids, zero experience with countering, zero experience with mechanics or, or 4X or, or 3X, I'm sorry, and any of these concepts create up to six characters on the Ignite server to try different play styles. That's genius. This is genius, actually. So this is what should have always been a thing. So this is learning. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I give credit where credit's due. This is learning. They're learning from their past mistakes because players want to know what character to pick. They don't know who they want to pick right off the bat. And it's punishing to pick a path without knowing who you want to pick because then you can't go backwards easily. Players will need to transfer to a legacy server to challenge threats at item level 1620, such as Echidna, Behemoth, North Kyrazan, and Terra 4 prior graduated. Uh, there was a part, though, about taming eventually. Somebody had sent it to me in the link. Uh, Ignite server participants will be able to create up... I already saw this word here, this uh, event support. Along with the new UI systems built to better teach players. I'm really excited for this because they made a pretty big deal about this at the low on, actually. And I know the... Uh, they're saying it, so I'm just going to sound like I'm repeating what they're saying, but it's literally that simple they're just going to make it more visually attractive easier to understand and interact with um explaining small systems that weren't really explained before i'm bsing at this moment and i'm trying to fill in voids for what i don't know but the reality is, is it's that simple they changed the ui and they made it an easier new player experience now it's whether or not that new not whether or not they did a good job right so we know what they did it's no question it's very simple now it's time to see if it actually uh panned out if it was a great if it was great changes and i'm sure we'll find half and half i'm sure we'll find some good changes some bad changes uh, Ignite Express event. We already know what that's going to be. It's probably just going to be a Super Booster Express event. Honing Booster and Rewards. Okay, so this is the part that kind of matters. Gold require 100% discount, so it's free. That's what this means, for the record. If required gold for honing, 100%. That means this is free. 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 Silver. Free. <laughs> so you get your 1580s for free, and all the characters start at 1540. So yeah, actually, my method might work. My method might work. You're there for seven weeks. You gotta, maybe not six, I wouldn't make six, unless you're just trying to test characters, but you should probably make three characters, and then dumb funnel one, just straight up dumb up funnel one, well, get them to 1580 quickly, and then just hyper funnel one character all the way as far as you possibly can, because it's only one character that can be transferred, as a matter of fact, because of the way that they were into this, I might do this just to have another character on my roster, um, because that's insane, that's disgusting. Um, event missions, guide missions, and event shop. Players on Ignite servers will learn game systems through tailored missions. Yep, that was, I already knew that. Raid difficulty. So this is the part that I thought was kind of important. To focus players on learning the new content together and the raid. So is this only for Ignite servers, though? So I might have actually misread this, but, but I actually do think we're getting it literally this week. But So to focus players on learning the new content together, the raid experience will be simplified into normal and solo mode for the raids with solo mode. For the following raids, Brawlshaws.com, they mean Kyangal, Ivory Tower. I feel so bad for everybody who wasted all their time in this. All those kids that pushed 1630 and then didn't clear for two months. I will never stop making fun of you elite monkeys. It's so funny. If you guys actually performed as elites, it would be, I couldn't make fun of you for it, right? But you don't, you don't. You're elite spenders or elite top end people who put all this time in to fail. <laughs> um, new players, roster transfer, returning or veteran players, character transfer. Uh, there are two transfer experiences available to players when their spark has been successfully ignited. Um, so this is actually, they really did reskin this. And they are ready to graduate. Players will choose a server to transfer to and be able to choose the best option befitting their situation. Bro, this is a free 1620 for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you guys killed the game and then blamed the game. Before we dive into the difference of each experience, there are a few there guild before transferring. All items at, that the transferring character has will be carried over to the, with the character sent to the universal storage of the target server. Only one character can be transferred, and any others will be deleted when the transfer takes place. Items will drop limit or at risk of abuse will not be items with a drop limit or at risk of abuse will not be transferred. Smart will be deleted. Uh, trade um, everything can be dropped. 
So, and tra- maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, but trade, I think they mean trade limit. Drop limit? But trade life materials, gold and silver, will not be transferred. Instead, large amounts will be granted in the, in the transfer gift. Learn more about interesting. Without knowing what this transfer gift is, you don't know how to mid-max. Meaning, like, there's no point in having large stocks of gold and silver at all. So it's about pushing to the minimum point, and I think 1620 would be it. I think everybody on the server should probably stop at 1620. And if you do go beyond it, congratulations, you really killed it. But because of this concept right here, this transfer gift, there might be very low value going beyond it. And if you do go beyond it, don't save your gold and silver. Put it into your character, right? And it does say that gems will be transferable, I think. So maybe get gems. Uh, learn more about how players will be set up for success in their future battles. Oof, that was so PR. So fucking PR. Um, some items that cannot be reacquired or that are too important to be deleted will be processed automatically through the preservation feature, which will be sent to the universal storage. Again, so this is very vague. Not a good idea, if I'm being honest with you. Very vague. We should be getting a picture with this system to show us what we're looking at. Roster transfer, best for new players. Players will be able to move their chosen character and all roster information to a server in their region where they yeah, so it's, oh, where they have no existing roster or characters rosters and characters can be removed if the ignite roster is leveled up all items that's very important actually ignite roster is leveled up all items and information will be carried over apart from those mentioned above and they will now have a roster on that server complete with their transfer gift character transfer returning a veteran player okay so maybe this is for us that's why okay that makes more sense players will be able to transfer their chosen character and many items to join an existing roster within their region the full policy will be released oh this is problematic Um, All items in the roster will be transferred along with the character other than the following. Trade life skills, no shit. Gold, silver, no shit. Island souls, no no shit. Doesn't matter because you'll have your other ones, right? Engraving books. Like, this is all going to be a waste. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to tell people just don't waste their time on. As a matter of fact, we're about to record another video and I'm going to talk about a quick guide for this stuff. Um, Oh, it has the transfer gift. I take back everything I said. This is a little longer of a video than I thought. The following gifts will be granted to the characters once they transfer off the Ignite service. The rewards will be scale-based on the character's achieved item level. Well, then there's only one thing important, and I was right. So there's not a real reason to push beyond 1620. It's just not. Um, I will say, I will say, 200,000 gold is insane also. So here's what I'm going to say. Uh, there's not really a big reason to push me on 1620. You're better off than putting time back in your original roster. But but for the players that are actually taking this serious or getting back into the game or starting over or whatever, um, you could probably push me on 1620. And even we could. Even we could. I don't know what the server's going to look like. So I might even try to push it too. We'll see when we get there. But, but I just want to make it clear that this would be the guarantee stop point, like where you really want to make it to, which it seems like it's possible based on everything they said. But you can go beyond this. So if you do the three-character funnel like I'm talking about, and you get two characters up or three characters up to 1580, and then you just dumb funnel one character, 1620 is probably really easy to hit. Like, you'll probably blow this out of the water. Um, yeah. Can't wait for players. Service battling here. Yeah, so I'm done. I mean, that was fantastic, guys. I actually really approve of this message. I think it's fantastic. Um, I do think the... We're going to have some issues, but again, they're all player-based issues. It's always going to come down to players, gatekeeping players, veteran players being assholes towards new players, not giving them proper experience. And Yeah, all right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, it's just a quick one-off, no edits. Um, peace. Mm.